All right, hey, the House of Prep here. We have a few things we're gonna talk about, but before we get into it, I wanna go ahead and get the boiling water in this and then I'll explain. Uh, this is what one of these looks like. There is an oxygen absorber in here, so get that out. <laughs> uh, that's, this is lasagna, we're gonna talk about it, but for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and, let's see, let's raise this up just a little bit. I'm pouring this boiling water. Hopefully I'll get it right in there. All right, so we got that done. I'm gonna seal it. There is like a Ziploc seal on here, just like a little Ziploc bag. So we got that seal and I'm just gonna shake it up just a little bit. All right, let's set that there for just a minute. All right, we're gonna talk about these and uh, Dave sent me an email and he did a review on some Kroger brand roast beef with gravy, 12 ounce cans. We're gonna talk about that. And I also wanna talk about pots and pans. I have a question, I need your all's help on that. And then I'm also gonna talk about coffee prep. And if we have time, uh, beauty products in general. Not for me, ladies and gentlemen. I, not, I don't want beauty products for me, I'm asking for a friend. All right, we're gonna talk about it for a friend. So first of all, let's get started with this. Uh, this brand, and it could be any freeze-dried food, okay? This one is what I like to get. Um, maybe it's the OCD in me. I just like getting the same brand on, on things so everything looks the same, it's the same colors, everything's uniform. So I'm sure there's other good products out there. This is the one I get. Uh, this one's lasagna. It says it's got two servings, uh, though if you're super hungry, Probably one of these will suffice for you. Uh, it does say on here freeze dried. So we're gonna take a look on the back of this, uh, kind of show you what we did starting off here. So in opening up the package, and this is what I ripped off, okay? There is these little tabs right there. See that little indentment? You can just do it right by hand. It stays just above the Ziploc, so that way you're not compromising the seal of this. Um, here's your prep instructions. We did that, we opened it, removed, we discarded that oxygen absorber. Go ahead and get that out of there, you don't need to cook that. <clears throat> uh, carefully, which I was successful with that, uh, I added one and a half cups of boiling water. So I did that. Stir carefully and close zipper. I did not stir, but I did kind of shake it, so let me just kind of Shake that again to make sure. But no worries, uh, wait five minutes, I will stir again, and then I'll reseal it. And then about four minutes it'll be ready. So let's take a look at some of the nutritional values of this. On the front it advertises 11 grams of protein. So obviously no extra cleanup because you just throw this bag away when you're done, right? And I did bring one of my throwables. So I'm doing dishes, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, it's my turn to do dishes, so we're gonna take care of that. <clears throat> so on the nutritional side, one thing that pops out, it obviously has uh, high sodium, okay? So I wouldn't want this to become like your regular normal diet. I think these would be great supplemental uh, items to have in some kind of an SHTF situation. Uh, you could use these for your get home or bug out bag. They're very light. Okay, so this would not add weight to your uh, backpack or anything that you're carrying. Uh, if you'd like to go camping or hiking, this could be a quick meal. They do make breakfast varieties as well, of eggs and uh, you know, like uh, different veggies and stuff all in there, freeze dried. One thing I like about these <clears throat> is <clears throat> the expiration date. As you see here, Best Buy October 2050. So, that's a long time. That's 30 years. So if I did want to put some of these away and forget about them and use them for emergencies only, I have that availability with these. And again, they're lightweight. They're portable. Uh, if you needed to get out of Dodge, you could grab you know your container of these things. They would not be heavy. Uh, you would be able to have some instant food. And it doesn't require a whole lot of, of prep or work, you just need to boil water. So you would have to have access to a stream or a lake, or if you still had your tap water working, uh, make sure that you boiled it through a fire. Uh, you could put a pot on your propane grill 
uh, camping stove, uh, you would want to boil the water and go ahead and get that good and hot. So it's been almost five minutes. So this one here, <clears throat> uh, as I'm doing this, let me talk about Dave real quick. Uh, Dave sent an email and in that email, he said, hey, I just wanted to share this because uh, he knew I'd be interested, which I, I am. I like to hear new things and uh, you know, people testing out things and such. All right, so I stirred this up real good. <clears throat> Let's reseal it. Uh, now, Dave said that he was trying out that Kroger brand roast beef with gravy, the cans, the 12-ounce cans. Uh, had to open three of them for his family of four. Um, he said the meat was good, but he was a little disappointed because when he opened it up, it was mostly gravy and didn't seem like it for the, the amount of money it was. And Dave, uh, if you could, please, sir, if you watch this video, put in the comments how much you, about how much per can that was, because I don't think I saw that. Um, and that way people could kind of see the value. If you've ever tried uh, these Kroger brand roast beef with gravy cans and you think that they're the best and they were a great value, then uh, put that in there and I will pitch you up against Dave. Fight, 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 fight. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. So, but seriously though, it's nice to share things and uh, values and things because that kind of lets us know what to buy, what not to buy. So I'm appreciative. Thank you, Dave, for doing that. And it's okay if I rattle the cage a little bit. He doesn't mind. He's got broad shoulders. He could take it. So my next question while we're waiting for this for a little longer, <clears throat> it's doing nice, marinating nice in there. Um, <clears throat> I have some older pots and pans, and I got more than this too, uh, some that are larger and things. Um, but with prepping, and let's be real, you know, we use our preps because obviously we rotate. So we don't just only use our preps in a bad situation because we have to use them and rotate them and re resupply and replenish. So whether it's a, a SHTF situation or whether it's just normal day-to-day -day living, you know, dinner after dinner. Hey guys, what kind of pots and pans do you recommend? What is it Pyrex? Do you, you recommend no go out and get all cast iron? Um, you know, obviously try to live on a budget, but at the same sense, you want to get a good quality, you know, pots and pans. And if there's some things that you guys have used and you're like, man, in all my cooking and everything that I use and, um, you know, maybe you have certain things you take with you when you go camping. I don't know. Uh, but if you have some things that you recommend, I think there'd be other people interested in that. I just, I, you know, you don't never see anybody really talk about this too much. So I thought, Hey, that's something I'm curious. So if you guys could put in the comments, let me know, you know, what a good brand is or what, what to look at like Teflon and different things like that. Uh, the non-scratch things. And, you know, I know there's a lot of term terminology out there, but if you could kind of let me know that, um, I think other people would find that information uh, valuable as well. Um, coffee preps. So I'm looking at my list here and I won't show it to you cause you probably can't read my chicken scratch, but, um, I'm looking at like coffee preps. Um, a lot of, you know, I have that healthy addiction to diet Pepsis and yes, don't worry. I still drink plenty of water. Okay. Because I try. I chase, I chase my diet Pepsis with water. That way I can justify how healthy it is. So I know it's not, but coffee preps. Okay, so if something bad happens, I can't buy any more soda because I noticed that, you know, when things are going bad and people run into the store, I, I, I notice all the sodas and the things are gone. Uh, for you, those of you up north, I'm talking about pop. And all that stuff gets bought up off the shelves. So in order to continue my caffeine addiction, I know that I like coffee, but you know, if I need to find something portable or do you guys rely a lot on stocking up on instant coffee? Uh, you know, give, I just like to get some of the, your all's opinions and preferences on coffee um, and anything coffee related. And I think that would be a good fun topic for our comments. Again, I think people would be interested in that. I think that um, talking about this subject it gives people options for their preps and being able to have a little bit of that comfort. We talk about that something that you're used to, that's something that's familiar to you in a crisis situation, having that coffee, uh, especially in the mornings and such to kind of get you going. And uh, whether you're hiking or whether you're, you're, you're bugged in or you're at home, you're at stay at home, uh, just something that you still have that's a sense of normalcy is what I'm getting at. So 
the last thing I was going to talk about before I go back and open this up and show you all the awesomeness that, that is, I'm sure, inside that bag there, um, the beauty products. Uh, my two oldest daughters were talking and they, I guess I, I overheard, you know, some conversation about it with my wife in the room and, and they were talking how they were, had been trying to find something that they like to use. It's a moisturizing cream, you know, for hands and face. Uh, Cerave, 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 Cerave. And they said that that's something that they like to find when they're out. And they, they went to Target, Ulta, Walmart. And they, for the last while, they've been having a hard time finding what they want. And they said it's something that's usually they can get a big bottle for like 10 bucks. So it's very budget friendly. But just in general, how's it look out there, everybody? What's with the beauty products? Because that's something I don't look at. And maybe when I'm at my store runs and I do my Thursday videos, maybe that's something I should just at least walk over to that aisle and just take a peek. Uh, but I know, again, that's probably regional. And I know some people will say, hey, they're stocked. Some people might have the an issue. And that's just a curious thing. Um, I've seen some other subs here that make comments in other videos uh, they'll have these lists of all these different things of athletic shoes or other topics so i'm thinking well what about beauty products you know what about you know i know with, with shipping problems and in truck issues and uh getting those shipments to the stores so again put that in the comments uh i'm curious to know how your area has been with beauty products i just think that's something that again uh a lot of our viewers would be interested in checking out so all right Back to this, uh, you know, I don't think there's anything else to show you on this. Uh, Price-wise, I guess you can get these for about eight bucks. Uh, camping section at Walmart has these, or you can go online and order them. I would just shop around. You can probably find, you know, a dollar difference here and there. I don't know if you can ever find a big sale. So I'm stirring it. I'm gonna bring the camera up just so I don't spill this all over the place. <clears throat> so uh, let's see, actually, hold on. There we go. So that's lasagna. That's not bad at all. That looks pretty good. So I want to, uh, depend on how hot it is, let me bring this over here just so I don't make a total absolute mess. So you can see there is the noodles, there's chunks of meat in here. So that's what it looks like right here. A little blowing on it here. Oh yeah, that's definitely good. Yeah, for an emergency food, that is good. I give you two thumbs up on that. That's definitely, definitely worth the money. And for the, just the convenience of it. Again, the lightweightness of it, the convenience of it. Uh, I wouldn't say, you know, for people that like to can and such, please, I mean, obviously can, but this might make a great supplemental um, to add, again, so we talk about balance, different things and such. So if you've never tried one of these, give it a shot. I don't sell them, so you have to go find, find them at the store yourself. But uh, no, I mean, yeah, if you look online, check your Walmarts. Those of you who like to pick your stuff up at stores, uh, they probably even do that. They bring it out to you to your car and stuff with your groceries. So uh, I'm pretty sure they do. I think I've done that before. All right, that's it. Uh, just a few things to talk over, and I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And if you are new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. And if you all haven't done it yet, hit the bell to get your reminders. That way, every time I do a video or a live stream or such, it'll pop up. Uh, I did my first live stream this past Friday, so I am looking to try to do one again this Friday, and I will make that ahead of schedule this time with more notice. Last time I was playing around trying to figure it all out. I think I'm getting it down. So I will look forward to seeing you all then. So you guys have a great rest of the day and I will catch you guys on the next video.